Thursday, June 20th, 2019. On Wednesday, June 19th, 2019, I believe my mom was shown multiple visions from God Almighty, our Creator, our Heavenly Father. For in the end times, God would show his children, dreams and visions. And I know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that my mom has been blessed by God with these. So many of them. And I thank God for blessing my mom. And in turn, he's been blessing me with the interpretations that I believe are from him. Anyways, I truly do in my heart. Now, these visions in which my mom has been shown yesterday. My mom has been shown these multiple times. Many of these visions that I'm going to share with you today. Personally, I was thinking that they were of the enemy, that that Satan knows that God's been blessing my mom with visions and she's been sharing them. So in turn, I thought the enemy was attacking my mom because when she was seeing them, they were horrific. They made her feel so just disgusting about them inside of her. They were gross. So I will share with you these visions and I believe you'll understand why I wasn't positive they were from God, but now I, I've come to believe they are because God is revealing what the enemy's been doing, what they are doing and will be doing. And it's way worse than I could ever explain or describe and share. So I like to keep these videos short anyways in the interpretations and I also believe that God has so much more to things, so many different added interpretations. It's just how God is. There's many reasons why we are shown and told things by Him. And there's also so much that God will not reveal to one single person. He's planned it that way. And there's so much that he doesn't want us to know also because we couldn't handle it. We couldn't. Now, here are some of the visions my mom has been shown. She's been shown a man's private parts. She's seen these many, many times, too many times. And sometimes they have been multiple men. And they seriously were hard for my mom to handle. And these visions seem so real to her that she actually had reported it to people. Like where she lives, thinking that somebody actually was doing this. And this is real. This has been going on in this world. But what she has been shown is a vision. And I believe that this is about the whore of Babylon. The whore of Babylon is inhabited by devils and in which God said, would be destroyed in one hour. That hour has come right now. The whore of Babylon has been fornicating with the world, with 
the people in this world, spiritually and physically. They've been doing this in multiple ways. They've been raping the people. They've been forcing upon the people. The false gods of Satan. And forcing upon them sick, sick, sick things which are against God's wishes and against God's commands. The leaders of the Whore of Babylon have been in bed with the satanic leaders around the world, which many are fallen angels, some are reptilian shape-shifting demons, Either way, they're all of Satan. They all work for Satan, and they're all in bed together. They've been pushing sexual, demeaning, sick ways upon the people through music, through media, like the news, which much of it is fake and a part of an agenda, such as the many multiple false shootings, false mass shootings, killings around the world, and in which even in my own hometown, we're seeing Wisconsin. They've been doing this all through the music industry, the TV, radio, movies, games, magazines, books, our government, through their actual church buildings in which many are led by wolves, ravenous wolves. They've even been doing this to the Holy Bible. I honestly believe in time travel, that they use these portals to go back in time and change things. They use them to tr teleport all around the world and even into the abyss pits of hell. And I do know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God told me that there actually is an actual gateway to and from the abyss pits of hell underneath Lake Michigan and Racine County, Wisconsin, in the United States of America. This, by the way, is where Obama came from. Obama is a clone of Satan's number one fallen angel, Abaddon. Obama is fully housing Abaddon, which came from the abyss pits of hell through this gateway. It's located across from Gateway Technical College, so that way the Satanists would know where it is. That's why they put that landmark there and called it Gateway. And this is also why Foxconn is here. Foxconn, make, they make clones to house the demons and the fallen angels. That gateway is going to be wide open at any moment now because God's allowing it. Because this whore of Babylon is going to be destroyed. It's just unbelievable what's coming upon this earth. And so, anyways, back to the going back in time here. They've been changing the Bible. Read it for yourself. The Holy Spirit. It, 
if you have the Holy Spirit, who's actually Jesus Christ, if you have Jesus Christ inside of you, you would just know that you know that the Holy Bible has been being altered. The, the YouTube channel, He Is Coming, did an awesome revealing of this, and I looked up some of the scriptures that he shared, and he's right. They show in there <laughs> that God is speaking of that when Jesus comes, that the woman will be grinding other women and that a man will be in bed with another man when the rapture occurs. That's a lie. The Holy Bible has been being changed, you guys. You have to have Jesus Christ inside of you and you have to be close to Jesus Christ to know this and understand it. It can't be just a head knowledge of the Word of God. The Word of God is living and active. The authentic living Word of God is Jesus Christ, who is God, the great I Am, the all in all, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher, your creator, my creator, the one and only true living and just God, judge, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. So yes, the Horror of Babylon and those that are having sex with the Horror of Babylon in multiple ways, forms and fashions. Just wow. They've been doing such disgusting fornication in many, many ways. So many, too many. Now my mom has also been shown a vision of a duck's bill. I believe this is regarding the sneaky so-called governments around the world and in America. Which, by the way, is the horror of Babylon. Yes, which will be destroyed in one hour. Now, the sneaky so-called governments, which are actually all run by the Horror of Babylon leaders, Obama, and then, of course, you got Trump, the puppet, and the Bush family, yeah, the Bushes, the Clintons. Well, they've all been passing bills of such lawlessness. Lawlessness, I tell you. You realize that in Obamacare, it's, it mandates that people take the mark of the beast. The beast Obama. The mark of the beast. And you see, Satan is going to fully go inside of Obama. At the moment, the true bride of Christ enters into heaven because Satan gets kicked out of a heavenly realm along with his fallen angels. God's archangel, Michael, and his angels will do this. Satan will fully go into Obama. Now, Obama already has this set up that in Obamacare, this is actually a law that whoever does not receive his mark will be beheaded. This is why he had bought so many guillotines when he was actually the president of the United States of America. He was setting things up. So he also had said that he will win the war on Christmas. And I believe he's referring to Christians. Because God is going to allow him to have the Christians who are left behind from the rapture 
they will have to suffer and die for Christ. Obama, who will be Satan, will mandate all to take his mark, the RFID microchip, in the right hand or forehead. He will also mandate all to worship him, call him God, because he, <laughs> Satan believes he's God. So many, too many will believe him. But the true Christians, the ones who truly love Jesus, if they were left behind because they were a foolish virgin, or they had chosen to walk away from Jesus at the time, uh, prior to the rapture, for whatever reason they were left behind. And the new converts, the, the ones that will come to Jesus Christ after the rapture, they will have to suffer and die. They will be persecuted by order of Obama, Satan. They don't receive his mark, they will be beheaded. So many will be persecuted and killed. Either, you know, there's so many ways in which these are gonna have to die. And even those who don't take the mark uh, of the beast who aren't Christians, uh, they too will be killed. And whoever don't worship him. Also, martial law. We've been under martial law already, but it is fully coming together. The cameras all over the place in stores, on the streets, in our homes, through our TVs, our phones, through social media, at the gas pumps. They've got drones flying around. They're gonna take the guns away from everyone. That's why so many of the fake mass shootings, fake murders, I believe a lot, if not all, of the police unjustly shooting others and killing them, especially the young black men. I believe that these are staged as well as the police officers being killed, including the one here, and we've seen that just happened. I've been seeking God about it, and in my heart, all along, to this moment, I believe it's staged. What people will do for money, right? For Satan's filthy money. Yeah. So all this lawlessness is already happening before us. And a lot of it is to control us and to confuse us and to pull people away from Jesus Christ and to keep others away from Jesus Christ in the truth. They want to put the military on the streets. They're going to. They just want us to be crying out for these things, you know? Yeah, we want mass surveillance. Yeah, put drones out everywhere. Oh yeah, we, we want a military here. Oh yeah, artificial one too. So they can't be killed. And so that they can detect people's facial recognition and, and uh, that humans can't defeat them or get away from them. You know, there's also this law passed. It's a law now that they can arrest someone just for a suspicion that they will commit a crime in the future? Unbelievable. I think a lot of this is against the ones they call conspiracy theorists. The ones who are exposing all truth. And against, of course, the Christians. The real ones. Not the ones playing church. Not to mention LBGT. I have nothing against the people. God says to be against the sin. It is lawlessness. It is not of God, as well as transgender. And you are who God created you to be. You cannot be transgender. You cannot be with the opposite sex in bed. You cannot be either physically or spiritually 
these. Because everything has a spiritual side to it as well. But I'm telling you, God created you who you are. You cannot change this. It is not okay. You are not born neutral. And no so-called government, so-called king, or anyone of this world can change what God says and who God created you to be. These sickles are saying what is good is evil and what is evil is good. Come on, you guys. Your conscience is not Jiminy Cricket. It is not Mother Earth. It is not another human being or a demon and devil. It is not yourself. It is God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. He'll tell you truth if you truly want to know the truth. Are you seeking truth? Are you seeking truth? Guys, God's commandments are all physical and spiritual. Do you realize that putting someone else or something else in the number one spot in your heart, which is meant for Jesus Christ and Him alone, this is spiritual adultery. We're placing ourselves in that spot when, when we think that we can do whatever we want. When we think that we can change who God created us to be. When we think that we can we can do something as long as we believe it's okay because the people around us believe it's okay. Stop being afraid to stand up for the truth. Stand up for who you are in Christ. Do not be ashamed of the true gospel. The true gospel is the real love. It is Jesus Christ who is love, for God is love. And we are made in God's image, which is love. We must live for the truth at all times, not just when it's convenient. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Stand up for what's right. Live what's right. If you've messed up, like I have too, we repent. We repent of our sins, which is we come to Jesus Christ. We ask him to clean up our hearts. It's not just a mind change, okay? A change in our thinking and our, and our willpower. Yeah, our willpower. It's weak. We need Jesus. I need Jesus. You need Jesus. He's the only one that can bring proper conviction and who could bring the strength that we need to stand up to everything in these days. What is evil is not good. And what is good is not evil. My mom was also shown two clowns with big noses. I believe these are symbolic of the Satanists, the Illuminati, and fear. The biggest clowns in this world, I believe, are Obama and Trump right now. But I do believe that Prince William is a shape-shifting reptilian demon. His mom, his mom was used because she's in the bloodline of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ walked upon this flat earth as a human being, a man, and as the actual living Word of God.
and the Pope, he is the false prophet. These so-called men are through and through of Satan. They are not who you think they are. Obama, Prince William, and the Pope. I don't think any of them are actual humans. I believe Prince William will claim to be Jesus Christ. Obama will claim to be God. And the false prophet will perform miracles, which are really magic of Satan. And he will point to these and say that they are who they claim they are. Do not believe any of them. Stay away from them. The only time that Jesus is going to be upon this earth anytime soon, like the soonest here, it's going to be after the seven years of great tribulation upon this earth, which will start at the moment the true bride of Christ is raptured out of here. Okay? Jesus Christ will rapture his loved ones soon who are ready and watching in their hearts as wise virgins filled up with the truth of Jesus Christ inside of them and the love of Jesus Christ. Their hearts have been purified because when they were placed inside of that fiery furnace throughout their lives, especially towards the end here, they chose. They chose to ask Jesus to clean up their hearts. They didn't jump out of that furnace by any easy escape through any means of this world. They chose to allow Jesus to clean up their heart, to ask him to. They chose to realize they were doing wrong and that they needed cleaning up and that they couldn't do this cleaning up of their hearts on their own. Only Jesus, who is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, God Almighty, the Great I Am, could do it. Only Jesus can forgive you of sins. Only Jesus can give you real love. Now, my mom was also shown a ring with a black stone in it and two eyes and a mouth. Now, a definition that showed up for the black stone is this it says Muslims believe that the stone was originally pure and dazzling white but has since turned black because of the sins of the people who touch it according to a prophetic tradition touching them both the black stone and al rukin uh, al yamani is a expiation for sins Well, this is of Satan. The black stone. Symbolic. Of our hearts. When we sin. When we willingly choose to sin. Which is also by unforgiving hearts as well. When we forgive. When we forgive others. It cleans things up in our hearts. Okay. And it pleases Jesus. And when we ask him to forgive us of our sins, it allows us to hear from Jesus, from God, more clearly. It helps us to receive the love from him and to release the love to other people who need it, to be used by him, to bring love into the world, which desperately needs it now more than ever. When we're living with sin, that sin is blackening our hearts because it puts walls up like these bricks. It's like there's brick by brick by brick by brick. Every time that we choose not to forgive, that we hold on to resentments and unforgiveness, but each time that we 
we go against what we know is right to do. When we willingly sin and we lust after things of this world, whether that be the, the fake riches of this world or the lustful desires of many kinds, including wealth, including our fame, fake royalties in this world. When we keep putting those bricks up, we're building a wall around our heart and our heart is decaying because it can't receive the free flowing love from God Almighty, Jesus Christ. It's like God's love is what brings our heart life. It will literally die off if we are not receiving God's love. Just true life. And if we're not able then to bring others love by forgiveness. By whichever way God knows that those people need. I lift give them my helping hand be something as simple as listening to somebody else being there for them helping them stand in faith hope and love helping to bring them joy we won't have that to give if our hearts are decaying if they're dying but I tell you what if you want full love you come to Jesus Christ ask him into your heart and soul as your Lord and Savior Ask Him to forgive you of all your sins. Repent of your sins, which is asking Jesus to clean your heart up. Make sure that He is in the number one spot in your heart. He needs to be your Lord and Savior. He is your King. My mom was also shown a baby and hearts. Now both of these are because Jesus Christ is coming at literally any moment now. And Jesus wants you to know that he loves you. He desires you. Jesus wants you. 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 Come on, he created you. He created you to be with Him, to have a loving relationship with Him. Like I said, my mom has seen all these many times. It is important for us to realize how much Jesus really loves us. And this is why God created us. And this is why Jesus wants to marry us. He wants you to be a part of his true bride. He wants to marry you. Do you want to marry him? You must be faithful and sold out to him. You must be. I must be. The baby is who is about to be born. Is about to be born. Be taken home to heaven, I believe. It is the rapture of the true bride of Christ. The Revelation 11, two witnesses, the wise virgins, the 144,000. It'll be all of the children. It's going to be all of who God says is worthy to escape the great tribulation. Who is worthy? Who is worthy? They will be raptured. Amongst them being raptured is the baby. The baby itself, I do believe, are the ones who are coming back here as the Revelation 11, two witnesses. They were chosen from the beginning of time by God Almighty. God already knew that all of this stuff that we're going through and what's going to happen upon the earth, what's going to happen? 
So he set up his army. He set up his love to draw people to him, to bring in, to reap the final harvest, the harvest of souls. And he is going to use these witnesses of and for Jesus Christ upon this earth for the first three and a half years of the Great Tribulation, which is actual hell on earth, God's judgments and God's wrath upon this earth, which will soon be no more because God is done, you guys. Now these witnesses, so you know, they will be used by Jesus Christ with his help to be witnesses of and for him, to expose and annihilate evil while leading people to the way, the truth, the life, the light, Jesus Christ. They will also be used to provide miracles of healings and provisions of all kinds, according to God Almighty and King Jesus Christ. Best of all, they will have the utmost honor and privilege of leading people into true salvation in Jesus Christ, who is the only way to heaven. Eternal life is upon us. There's the only two places you can go, and you cannot live forever upon this earth because God said, that this earth will be destroyed in fire. This entire earth will be destroyed in fire. Hence, the lake of fire. So you either live in heaven and then in the new heaven and the new earth or in the lake of fire to be tormented by Satan day and night with no chance of forgiveness and escape and freedom by God Almighty and Jesus Christ. Judgment day is upon us. Are you ready? The rapture is at hand. Are you ready? Are you worthy? Do you think God is calling you worthy? Guys, the rapture, it's real. This is God's way of protecting those who have been sold out, those who truly trust and rest in His Son, Jesus Christ, which really is the true Sabbath. It's not about a day of the week. Jesus Christ is the only way for eternal life. If for some reason you're left behind, Please don't allow anyone to implant the RFID microchip into you or your loved ones, please. Even if they say torture and death of you and your loved ones, that excuse will not be allowed by Jesus and God. No excuses will be allowed. You are much better. You are eternally better. Take this physical death in this physical life rather than a spiritual death which will which will grant you eternal damnation in a lake of fire real death eternal death let them kill your body let them kill you they cannot take your soul if you are sold out to Jesus Christ and you choose not to worship the beast and to take his image never ever refuse Jesus Make him your number one all in all, no matter what you have to, no matter what you have to face. I do think there's some horrors coming to this world, especially America, prior to the rapture. Don't know exactly what it is. I have my suspicions, but I think it's going to be multiple things. And I believe God is using this. He's allowing it to happen right now. Because he wants people to wake up. He desires for his children to wake up. For those who have walked away from Jesus to come back. Now is the time. Come back, come back, come back. This is the real deal. It's not about a program. 
It's not about being a missionary somewhere. It's not about this or that. Our agenda, the church's agenda and mission. It's about Jesus' mission. It's about God. It's all about love. I, I really do hope and believe. <laughs> I'm really hoping that how I've come across today is making sense to somebody out there. I hope it's making a difference to someone. I know I kind of bounce around, but I try to follow after my heart and just want you to know Jesus loves you and he's coming. Things of this world are getting darker and darker. You do not want to be of this world. Yes, America is the horror of Babylon, but really, this whole world is of Satan. It is Babylon. Nobody can escape it if they're upon this world. That is, except through Jesus Christ. He is coming to set the captive free. As Jesus Christ prophesied and warned in Matthew chapter 25 of the King James Holy Bible, you must be a wise virgin watching and ready for your bridegroom to appear. If you would like to be his true bride. I'm asking each and every single one of you, please join me in tugging on God's heart for God to please forgive, save, and awaken all of our precious loved ones and us. And for God to have his beloved son, King Jesus Christ, take all of our loved ones, including all of our pets and other animals, along with us, to our real and eternal home heaven at the imminent glorious rapture which will happen at literally any moment now. I eagerly look forward to hanging out with our loved ones when we get home and are thoroughly enjoying our totally awesome never-ending family reunion. The family of Christ that is. I hope to see you in the sky really soon. We fly home extremely soon.